The future is great for Ontario corn-fed beef. When you've got corn-fed beef from Ontario, you've got something special that not only tastes great, but is good for you as well. The secret is in the corn. The near perfect food for cattle. Perfect food for cattle. Ask the question. Who produced my food? What did they use on it? What's it doing to me, the environment, and the animals? I realized at a certain point, when I eat a hamburger, when I go to McDonald's, which I, I then did, uh, I didn't know where it was coming from. It came from Jesus. It came from Jesus. <laughs> he handed it to you. It actually, to my surprise, came from a cornfield. That whole meal came from a corn and soy field in the American Middle West. It's American best kept secret. We're good at growing corn, and we're now selling it all around the world. That's uh, corn silage, high moisture corn, which is uh, the yellow kernels you see, and then we feed some byproducts, potato chips, uh, and a chocolate blend. Let cows eat what nature intended them to eat, grass. No hormones, antibiotics, fertilizers, or pesticides. In these highly unnatural environments, cattle are kept alive by constant dosages of antibiotics. Hormones are often introduced to induce accelerated weight gain. More than 70% of the antibiotics produced in the United States go to concentrate-fed livestock. We believe it's important to know exactly where your beef has come from, how the animal has been treated, and what it has eaten. In contrast to cattle standing cheek by jowl in pens, cattle that exercise walking around grazing on live green grass produce a very different, much cleaner, and nutrient-rich protein. When animals don't get excited, they're not, you know, treated like a factory assembly line, that creates a better quality beef. Hundreds of studies verify that grass-fed beef has half the fat and cholesterol of regular beef, and of that fat, 41% is monounsaturated, like olive oil. Grass-fed beef has higher levels of vitamins A and E, higher levels of omega-3s, and contains conjugated linoleic acids, which are considered among the strongest antioxidants in nature and are non-present in feedlot-produced beef. We seem to have invented the one diet, this Western diet that we're all eating, that makes us sick, very reliably. I mean, people who eat the way we eat suffer from heart disease, several cancers, obesity, diabetes. A what? A uh, meatitarian. I only eat meat, beef, bacon, you know, meatitarian. You know, I think there are better places to get your food. Well, even um, better is to get out of the grocery store and go to the farmer's market when you can. Right. It's all food there. Wow! This place is great! <laughs> Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. And then the government.
even when it tries to give us sound advice about how to eat, must deal with the fact that it can't offend the food industry. So you can't so, say eat less red meat. It can't. Can the people finally go to the government and say, you need to start working on our behalf? Yeah, and I think that moment will come. When diabetes rates get to the point where they start bankrupting the national health, when obesity gets to that point, we will realize, hey, this is not a health care problem, this is a food problem. People are waking up to where their food comes from and are starting to buy healthier, sustainable animal products. All the things that give red meat a bad rap with the saturated fat and everything, it doesn't apply to grass-fed. It's truly beef as nature intended.